I was just watching a couple of YouTube videos where the creators mentioned how a lot of the newer screw-in LED bulbs aren't going to last very long and that the old ones were made much better. And as I was looking over some of my old screw-in LED bulbs here, I realized that I'd put dates on all of them when I installed them. And I figured what a marvelous opportunity to make a video showing the life expectancy of some of these old bulbs that are still working fine, by the way. So believe it or not, the first four bulbs here you're looking at are over 10 years old. They were made by a company, it looks like it's pronounced Feet Electric. They were screwed in 1214-2014. Still working fine. Now one of them was intermittent for a while until I dropped it on the floor and believe it or not that fixed it. It hasn't malfunctioned since. Um, the next four are made by a Philips. Still working fine. They were screwed in 2019, 1162019. That's over five years old. The next two bulbs are made by Echo Smart. They're still working fine. And the very last one here is made by GE Refresh. It was screwed in 11102019. It looks like it's halfway burnt out. I noticed only half of it's lighting up. Now, um, in all fairness to GE, it might have just been a bad bulb and where the, the rest of them are usually good, perhaps. I don't really know. I wish I had more that I had tested. But when I screwed these all in, I didn't realize I'd be making a video talking about them all these years later. Anyway, I was thinking a lot about the new TVs that uh, also have early LED failure and how I believe it's probably built-in obsolescence. And you know what's sad? Can you imagine spending several thousand dollars for one of these newer, you know, 85-inch LED TVs and, you know, three, four years later, your backlights are history? A lot of people aren't willing to repair the... Uh, the backlights on the newer TVs because it's a high-risk operation. I know I've broken a couple of displays myself trying to remove the screen to do the backlights and so I imagine a lot of people probably have my mindset when it comes to replacing them. It's a high-risk operation and uh, I'll put it this way, there's sometimes there are easier ways to make a buck. Anyway again there's the list there and um, if you happen to have an older LED bulb that's still going. I wouldn't mind hearing about it in the comments section. Or if you've got a newer one that didn't last very long, I'd like to hear about that too. You know, it's a shame with the TVs that they didn't design them so the average consumer could just open up the back and screw in a few new LED bulbs. But I guess you're not going to be able to keep making money on TVs if you've got TVs that last for too many years, right? It's like appliances, bulbs, and so many other things that have early failure nowadays. Anyway, I'm glad I put the dates on these so I was able to make this video and share this with you. Love to hear your comments, and thanks for watching.